So, do you do chest compressions on the left side in unit? No, we do it in the midline, okay? We do it in the midline at the lower third of the body of sternum. Now, the next step we said was if the heart rate is less than 60 per minute, what do you start? Yes, tell me. So, we start chest compressions, okay? So, a few things about chest compression in neonatal resuscitation. So, let us see about chest compressions in neonatal resuscitation. So, chest compressions. So, what are the questions that you can get from chest compression? One is the site. At what site do you do it? So, do you do chest compressions on the left side in unit? No, we do it in the midline, okay? We do it in the midline at the lower third of the body of sternum. We don't do it over the ziffy sternum. The baby's ziffy sternum will fracture if we do it over it, okay? So, the site is in the midline on the lower one third of body of sternum. Okay. Practically, it is usually done basically in the midline at the line just below the line joining the two nipples. Okay, you do it here. So, basically you do it in the midline just below the line joining the two nipples. Okay, right? What is the technique? How do you do it? So, two techniques have been described. One is the two thumb encircling technique. Okay, so you encircle the thorax of the baby with your hands, with your palms, and you use two thumbs to do the chest compressions like this. So, one is two thumb encircling technique, another is two finger technique by which you do like this. Okay, so the two thumb or the thumb encircling technique is the one that is preferred and is recommended now. Two finger technique is no longer recommended. Okay, so the two thumb encircling technique is preferred over two finger technique. Why the two thumb technique is preferred? Because it has been seen that better pressures are generated with it. Better perfusion of the baby occurs. And there is less rescuer fatigability with this also. Okay. So, this two thumb technique, you can get a question. Two, two thumb encircling technique is preferred because higher pressure generated with this two thumb encircling technique, higher pressures generated, better perfusion of heart occurs, better perfusion occurs and lesser rescuer fatigability. Right? Okay. So, that is why the two thumb encircling technique is preferred. Now, how much deep will you press the chest while giving chest compressions? So, it is not 2 cm, 5 cm or any number. It is basically, usually it is, it should be one at least one third of the anteroposterior diameter of the chest. So, the depth to which you press should be Okay. So, the depth should be one third of the anteroposterior diameter of the chest. So, if this is the anteroposterior diameter of the chest, 
this depth should be at least one third of this okay one third of the anteroposterior diameter of the chest okay Now another question, remember in positive pressure ventilation we said what is the rate at which you do positive pressure ventilation? What was the answer? 40 to 60 breaths per minute, right. But here you will never get usually a question what is the rate at which you do chest compression? Why? Because whenever we do chest compressions, we do it along with positive pressure ventilation. So here the question is what should be the ratio between chest compression and positive pressure ventilation in neonatal resuscitation? Very, very, very important has been asked multiple times in various exams. Again, no mistake pardonable on this. So, in neonates, the recommended ratio of chest compressions is to positive pressure ventilation. should be 3 is to 1 and nothing else, okay. So, the ratio of chest compression is to positive pressure ventilation in neonatal resuscitation should be 3 is to 1. So, how we do it? There are two rescuers, one stands at the head end of the baby, one stands at the side. So, one will do chest compressions, one will do positive pressure ventilation. So, we do 1, 2, 3 squeeze. So, this 1, 2, 3 squeeze. So, these four things should be completed in 2 seconds, okay. In order to do it in the ratio 3 is to 1, we do 90 chest compressions plus 30 breaths in 1 minute. So, that is how you time it, okay. So, in 2 seconds, you have to do 3 chest compressions. You can calculate it for yourself mathematically. So, in 2 seconds, you have to do 3 chest compressions and one breath, okay. Then you will be able to do 90 chest compressions, 30 breaths in one minute in the ratio of 3 is to 1, okay.